All right, here we are in uh, part two of this little tutorial. Now we've, we've chosen the image processor from File, Scripts, Image Processor. To save time in this tutorial, I've already navigated to the pre uh, folder that we uh, created in the first part and to the post folder that we created in the first part. Uh, that's steps one and two. Now in step three, I've chosen save as JPEG, resize to fit, and since it's going to be a full 1080p project uh, that we're putting them into, I'm going to choose 1920 by 1080 and save as JPEG, resize to fit, la 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 la, we're all good to go. So I'm going to hit run and uh, this is just going to automatically make all this happen and we'll be back and ready to import those things into Premiere Pro in just a second. Here we go. You can see it happening right before your eyes. It's taking each, fo each fo photo, opening it up, resizing it and saving it as the, as the new JPEG. All right, now back in Premiere Pro, I've imported that post uh, folder using the import folder function on import. Uh, I also imported the pre, but that's not important right now. We'll get to that in a second. But in the post, we've got all the all the resized photos. Now I grab uh, grab them all, select them all. Oop, sorry. Try that again. We select them all and drag them into the timeline. All right, again, your your backslash key will or your slash key will will help you uh, uh, zoom that to a, a manageable size. There, plus key will zoom in, minus key will zoom out. But uh, anyway, plus key go plus plus. Now we can see that these photos have already been resized to to be constrained to the size of the project, which is great. And much much smaller file size is much more easily handled by Premiere Pro. Now, why would you not want to do this? Well, I'm sure there's going to be that rare situation where um, where you want to zoom way in on a photograph uh, to you know get to, to, to like me if you like to put a lot of custom animations on on uh, still photographs then you may want to start a photo or finish a photo by zooming zoom way way in on it now with resizing these things and at 72 dpi and and constraining them to to these uh, proportions of of this project then you may get some breakdown in that when you go to zoom way in of course you will if you zoom way in the, the image quality is going to suffer so in those situations where you may want to push way, way in on a photo, you wa probably want to just go back to the original photo, which is why I imported the pre folder here as well, in order to zoom in on the photos. Uh, there we go. So basically, a much higher resolution photo there that I've pushed way in on, and the image quality is now very, very good. But I believe that for the other ones uh, where, where you're going to do minimal uh, panning and zooming, that sort of thing, then you probably want to go with the smaller file size just to keep Premiere Pro happy and not choking or acting uh, bizarrely for you and slowing you down. Anyway, that's the extent of this tutorial. I hope it helps, and uh, if you have any other questions, just ask.